church song. We're going to sing Humpty Dumpty stuff in the morning. What are you doing? That's my job. We can't sing Humpty Dumpty. Oh, go on, you stand up. <laughs> Where did you get this guitar from anyway? My word. Right, I think you'd better help me with the actions. What do you reckon? Where did you come from? <laughs> Good morning everyone. We're going to sing our song. It's not going to be Humpty Dumpty this morning. It's going to be Our God is a Great Big God. So, you guys ready to do the actions? Yeah. together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Give our sins. Give us our sins. As we forgive those who sin against us. And let us not in the temptation. You've got to deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glorious are yours now and forever. Amen. Now and forever. Amen. And the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours. Now and forever. Amen. Good morning church. I hope you're all well. Um, today we're going to be hearing a story about a woman who had a lot of faith in Jesus. Um, she was one person in a big crowd of so many people but she uh, really had faith in Jesus. Now we all have faith in different things don't we? So this morning I'm thinking um, I don't need to set an alarm in the morning. I have faith that my children will wake me up um, on time every morning. I have faith that when I turn the tap on, water's going to come out so I can have a shower, I can have a cup of tea. Um, and we all put our faith and trust in different things. When we look at the weather app or on the TV of the weather forecast, um, sometimes we might not be so confident. You know, has it been truthful in the past? Is it reliable? When we go to school, we think about, you know, we have faith that there's going to be a teacher there to teach us. So what do we put our faith in? What do we have trust in? Hopefully we have that trust in Jesus. 
and we're going to hear about a lady who put her faith in Jesus. One day, a man named Jarius came to see Jesus. He cried, Jesus, please come and heal my daughter. She is dying. If you would just touch my daughter, Jarius said, she would be healed. So Jesus and his disciples went with Jarius. A large crowd followed Jesus as he walked to Jarius' house. Just then, a woman pushed through the crowd towards Jesus. She had been sick for 12 years. The doctors could not heal her. The woman believed that Jesus could heal her. She thought, I know if I just touch his clothes, I will be healed. As the woman got closer to Jesus, she reached out and touched him. She was healed at that moment. Jesus stopped and turned around. Who touched me? Jesus asked. I felt the power go out of me. The woman knelt before Jesus and said, I am the one that touched you. Jesus said, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. Now we can read that story in the Bible, Luke chapter 8, verse 40. We've read it in this, the Beginner's Bible. So this lady, she was one in a crowd, lots and lots of people, but Jesus still noticed her. He was probably getting tussled and knocked about all the time, but he felt this touch was something different. And this lady, she, she had been bleeding for 12 years. So as well as the physical pain, she wouldn't have been allowed to go into the temple to worship, worship God. She was not allowed to be part of the community because she was seen as unclean. And this had been going on for 12 years that she couldn't be, you know, amongst friends and amongst people she knew. But she still trusted that God could and he would heal her. And she knew that Jesus had the power to do that. How amazing. So we've heard in the story, the woman that believed Jesus could heal her. She had such a strong faith that she knew if she just touched Jesus's cloak, she would be healed. So we've got a picture here of Jesus. <laughs> Me, 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 me. And we've been writing some of the reasons that we should uh -huh. believe in Jesus. So we've got he heals. We've just read the story about that and lots of places in the Bible where he heals. He is kind. He cares about us. He cares about each and every one of us. That one lady uh, in the crowd. Just just. Those down. He is truthful. So Jesus tells the truth, doesn't he? Which means we believe in him. He cares about each and every one of us. We're not lost in a crowd. And what's Tamsin got there? You've got it upside down at the moment. He loves us. Yes, he loves and cares. That's a lovely headdress you've put on there, Flynn, for Jesus. Good. So you could have a go at doing this at home. Have either a cloak of Jesus or a picture and write down some of the reasons that we should believe in him. So today we've read a story about the woman who had a lot of faith that Jesus could heal her. But sometimes it's a bit tricky to have, to be really certain about things. But that doesn't matter. In Luke 17, verse 6, so he replied, Jesus said, If you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mulberry tree, be uprooted and planted in the sea and it will obey you. Now, have you found a little seed, Flynn, in there? I put all of them. You've planted them all in. Now, where's one of the small ones? I planted... Some of them are really tiny, aren't they? And do in you the seed packet. really tiny? Yeah. Now, even when you've got I a teeny tiny seed... You can't see them. Oh, there's one. So it's saying in this verse, 
that even if you've got faith as small as a teeny tiny seed, ah, look at that little seed, then you can say to the mulberry is tree, it, right? it is. And that's like a really big tree. Let's have a look oh, what we've got around here. Big tree. Some of the big tree. Maybe that it's even bigger a mulberry tree than that tree over there. Oh, yes. So you can say to it, get up and be planted in the sea and it will obey you. So it's saying even if you have a little bit of faith, that's okay. Now, we may not feel that we have as much faith as that the woman that we read about in the Bible. Um, but even if we have that tiny mustard seed of faith, we can grow it by reading the Bible, spending time with Jesus, praying, and really nurture the faith that we have so that it grows stronger. So we're going to pray now about our faith and how we can encourage it all to grow. So let's do the prayer drill. One. Two, three, four. Dear Lord Jesus, Heavenly Father, thank you that you know each and every one of us. Even when we are one of many, many people, you know our thoughts and feelings, our worries, our fears, the things that we've done wrong and where we need more encouragement. So Lord, please, Help us to trust you, to believe in you, to have faith that grows stronger every day. Help us to speak about you and share our faith with other people. Lord, we particularly pray for those things that we are struggling with at the moment. Our fears and our doubts and our worries. Please encourage us, strengthen us and heal our pains. Lord, be with each and every one of us. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen.